Hi, my name is Dorothy Babbage and I'm the manager of Cafe Connect. Cafe Connect provides the opportunity for youth to gather in a safe place and provides meals for those in need. I have faith with the support of our sponsors and volunteer base, we will be able to put Cafe Connect on the map of the City of London for a safe place for all. Volunteering with Ian has been a unique and fulfilling experience for myself and Kat. At this time, I would like to introduce Ian Passfield as our own most dedicated volunteer. Everyone's short. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, good evening, all. Uh, what do you see here is an average young man with lanky builds uh, who probably should be playing basketball at the YFC courts. However, just like magic, uh, looks can be deceiving. I have autism, I have an anxiety disorder, and a learning disability. I, have, I don't like telling people that because they brand you and they think you're stupid and incapable, but not nah, nah to them. <laughs> also when I talk, some words can be upmixed, which leads to comical events, but I do join in the laughter because they generally are funny. Uh, my deepest, darkest days of the winters of 2004-2005, uh, I had complete mental breakdowns. Again, I don't like mentioning it. But my rock, my hero, she's way over there. My mom, uh, she prayed and to keep herself sane and to keep both of us, me and my dad, on the right track. And apparently I was a handful. Eventually, at high school, I accepted what life threw at me, and I succeeded. Currently, when I'm not volunteering at YFC, I work at Lovers. Again, they're way down over there, um, doing all sorts of internet work and customer service stuff, uh, who have been very kind to me and my family. Uh, I'm an avid Red Sox fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I play uh, softball with the Special Olympics, and I play Scrabble competitively. Uh, a couple years ago, my mom came home from work one day, lovers, uh, just a few doors down, and she said there's a cafe opening, and her son, who just went through culinary school, she volunteered me. Something about reaching level 700 in a video game, minor detail. Uh, I went through all high school with chefs, culinary fields, but I had a few experiences and everyone idolized Gordon Ramsay and his TV persona, so mm, rude and crass and mm, I didn't like it. So I was hesitant of trying another one. So I arrived at YFC, not completely sold on the idea. However, within a couple of luncheons, I was surprised. I really did like it, so much so that I've volunteered on an average twice a week this year, and almost 250 hours. So, thank you. It's not only giving me something to do, uh, it's boosted my confidence and honed my culinary skills. Uh, I'm still not comfortable being around young kids, but I can tolerate them. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, physically and mentally, I'm proud of the new boundaries I was able to accomplish. So in a word, yes to Cafe Connect. Uh, can you find another place that has a tasty $5 lunch special or breakfast without tax? Canadian. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Unfortunately, poverty is still a huge issue in this world and $5 is an amazingly small price to pay for a meal, but yet some people still struggle to afford it. 
for our Thanksgiving dinner, just a couple weeks ago, yeah, uh, we provided a full traditional turkey dinner with dessert, coffee and tea for each person for $2. We had over 150 people, yep. and nine turkeys, 10 if you include me. But <laughs> At the end of the evening, uh, I was hot, tired, and, oh. and then I heard that one mom with three of her kids said, this is the only place she can take her family out to. This was the Ritz for her. She didn't have to cook, she didn't have to clean up, instead I did. But when after I heard this story, it made the whole evening worthwhile. <laughs> Therefore, your support to YFC has not only empowered me, it empowers hundreds of youth and families in the community. Thank you for donating to YFC and being a support or being part of supporting youth and their families. Thank you. God bless.